Hello, my name is Doug Rich. I'm a physical therapist and certified hand therapist for Foothills Physical Therapy. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about carpal tunnel syndrome and some techniques to hopefully prevent that happening to you. Carpal tunnel syndrome of the hand is the most common nerve entrapment of the human body. Early symptoms include numbness, tingling, thumb, first, second, third finger, uh, pain in the palm, sometimes a bee type like stinging, as symptoms progress, you'll notice gripping weakness. One of the major signs is unable to pick up and lift your coffee cup. Also, night pain is consistent with this. These symptoms will tend to occur more at night. We think that may be circulatory with an irritated nerve that brings us on, but research is not conclusive of why these symptoms tend to flare up during sleeping activities. Some simple activities to prevent this through work through your desk posture, sit up straight and tall. The more you flexed over sitting slouched, the more compressions you get through the nerves that go through your arms. Repetitive pinching and extending wrists also add to this problem. The simple stretches we would like you to do are extension stretch to the flexor muscles of the forearm to help decrease the pressure along the nerves. Extension stretch to the extensor muscles of the forearm and median nerve flossing to get the median nerve to slide through that tight tissue of your forearm. Stretching out your forearm extensors, you wanna grasp not at the fingers or the top of the wrist, pull down, so you feel a simple pull up through this part of your forearm. If you get sharp pinching in the wrist, do not bend the back as far or do not do this exercise. For stretching wrist flexors, grab below the fingers, stretch back until you feel a pull down through this part of the forearm. For median nerve flossing, palm up. Start with the fist with your thumb out. Bring your fingers back, your thumb back. Gently pull out on your thumb until you feel a little st stretch through this area. Repeat these activities four to five times, five to 10 seconds. About every half hour to an hour during the day is enough. You can simply break up your repetitive activities at the desk with a few of these simple techniques. Your chances and risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome will decrease.